Captain must be terrified to see his army so afraid before the battle begins. They say that Beldor will unleash a dragon during the next battle. Our army's defense will be impenetrable. I can unleash a dragon? Nobody told me I could do that. We've proven that, but since their surprise attack, strip away the courage from Odin's witch, and all that remains is a weak human girl. We've proven that by killing Griselda, the Valkyrie leader. The witch is no match against our resolve and power. I'm so used to clicking on people to talk to listen to their dialogue, so having them automatically trigger when I walk by is, is like catching me off guard, and I'm skipping the dialogue. There we go. Why Oswald? I still can't believe that Brom is a traitor. I have heard of your power. Show us more. Show us the Belda Reaver's might. You can't battle on an empty stomach. See if there's anything you want. Why not? Nope. I'm largely fine. Uh, should I sell this Saturn Bengal? Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Don't think I'm gonna use that. And we'll throw our bone in there, because I haven't used them generally, but... It, and they take up- they take up very limited space you have at the beginning of this game. Did I- did I pick up coins along the way? Surely I've got something by now. What can I get for you today? Oh, one page. I guess that's all I can afford anyway. We go for the Mulberry Tart, which can be used twice for 150 hit points. But the fastest hit point is the Churro. I have plenty of healing items right now, so getting these two is going to be more experience efficient, I want to say. Yeah. At this point, we've seen every food item several times over. Boom! Level 8. Level nine? No, nope. not quite. Thank you very much. All right, I will see you later, probably. How does one get pink fur? Do not stand in my shadow. My own spirit will become tainted like yours. Holy shit! You're annoyingly superstitious and a horse. I have so many things to reconcile in my head right now. We have prepared ourselves. That brute Odin, he will certainly be surprised. Your Majesty, could you please reconsider the proposal to mass produce the ciphers? We have Beldor's dragon. We also have your swordsmen. If we can take the cauldron, we will have more than enough phosons to sustain us. We will no longer need the poison that has been damaging us. <sighs> what a foolish thing to say. My dear aunt, you are full of naive ideas. Don't you understand? The cipher is absolutely necessary to battle the Demon Lord. Watch your words, Melvin. I cannot allow royalty to be criticized so in front of my subjects. Please forgive my insolence. I care too much for you. Not as a retainer, but as family. I spoke too frankly. That woman fails to see the whole picture. Oswald! Are you on your way? Yes. You must demonstrate. The overwhelming power of that sword... Kill many, and make no mistakes. Princess Mercedes, will you really be heading to the battlefield? 
course. I need to prove my worth as a leader to my mother. But did she not command you to stay behind and look after the castle? That is also a leader's job. Have Melvin sit here and hold the fort. Melvin. Princess Mercedes, please leave the battle to me. Rest assured, we will see victory. No! I shall go as well. As you wish, Princess. Please, come this way. Lord Melvin, please do not take offense. If something were to happen to Elfaria, that brat would be the next queen, huh? There's so many scummy people in these games! Proceed to the battlefield and demonstrate the Cypher's power. So this is going to be where we encounter Gwendolyn's sister. Oh, is she going to be the final boss fight? That'd be crazy. Or maybe we'll get a cutscene that better exemplifies what happened there. But I think we, if I remember correctly, Gwendolyn's campaign just starts with her dying on the floor. It'd be interesting to see if we actually encounter her at all during the battle. Oh, those are a lot of Valkyries. So Brigador, also on the list of characters whose apparent power is greatly diminished by the fact that everyone seems to have no trouble defeating him. And everyone defeats him. How does one maintain a reputation as being some big badass general when you get your ass kicked constantly? I guess he probably screamed at all of his men and threatened them to make it so that they wouldn't <laughs> reveal the fact that Oswald just wandered into the castle and kicked his ass. Since he apparently survived, because... All the other fights against him probably take place afterwards. Uh, I, well, I can't say when Cornelius happens. Cornelius is probably in some ways the hardest timeline to reconcile between the four campaigns so far, just because it uh, has so little overlap with anyone's campaign. Uh, it's mostly a bunch of, like the only person that really interacts with is Velvet, and of course uh, Velvet's brother, who has some interactions with uh, the fairy storyline. But yeah, it's pretty much Velvet Vel uh, more than anything, and we haven't played Velvet, so that means he's most closely attached to the campaign of a character we haven't played as yet. <laughs> so, it's hard so I'm not entirely sure where his fight against, uh, against Brigand happened. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna slowly crush all of you. That's- you know what, we'll do this. Why not? Oh yes, Berserk drains way faster. Okay. Of course, the moment I extinguish it, they, more of them show up. <laughs> so I think that I think the tutorial gave me a false impression of how slowly Berserk might drain. I, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe I'll have to go check back uh, on the footage or something, but I think it was draining exceptionally slowly, probably to give me extra time to experiment with how, how the moveset works and stuff like that during the, the tutorial. Still teaching me things. They keep giving you explanations of the most basic alchemy diagrams. It's it's a weird thing to have reoccurring constantly, just because you will have encountered all of them by this point in the game. And the, it's such a basic framework of put one, two, or three of each type of thing into a thing. And then you have every potion in the entire game that's going to come from those alchemy, alchemy mixes. So the constant reminders of when new ones are... Ah, they're, it, it's, they're odd. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just make- they didn't just give you one book that was like a dedicated glossary page and just give it all to you at once for people who want to read through it. It'd be just as useful as constantly giving people new pages, probably. Oh, guess what happens now, guys? Yay! This is the end. That reminds me, I forgot to map you. I wanted to map you to down. There we go. Oh, yeah, you crit the crap out of that air. What great timing. Uh, this would go so much faster if you guys all came at me at once. Come on. <laughs> no, need, no need to take turns. You can all die together. There we go. 
What's the new skill? Shadow Bite. A shadow that crawls along the floor, striking foes from below. Huh. That sounds absurd. Let's grab it. <laughs> Upgraded, I mean, of course, because you you get it the moment you pick up the uh, foes on itself. Um, the prism, I mean. So two more ability points, and I'll be able to get gourmet. So I should check for that the moment I become level 10. So about one level to go, because we're a particle away from getting to the next one. Let's go ahead and map these. I think I'll map Shadow Bite to down. So instead, let's do Grief to forward. It's a sort of a forward attack. It's a ground-based attack, so I wanted to put it on down, but Shadow Bite's literally something that comes out of the ground, so it probably be a, feel a little bit more intuitive to be mapped to down. What do you got for me, chest? Oh, hi. Now death. Whoa, that's what that looks like. Well, I think we're going to be using that skill a lot. <laughs> that seems plenty useful. Grab the silver. Oh, the pottery. They must be destroyed. There can be no survivors. All right, let's try this one now. That, that's the ground-based attack that attacks people. Wait, did it attack one person? Oh yeah, it does. Interesting. It seems to hit one person and then go away. Decayed key. Now it's got. Now we got to go find a de decayed chest. Sounds like a healthy gamble. Just put this breaking in old thing and the other breaking in old thing and hope both of them still work. What could go wrong? It's okay. Something about destiny will make it work. <laughs> And we're saved, due to destiny! Yay! I'm out of a lot of foes on, unfortunately, because both of my new skills use them. Oops. I saw you hiding there. Is there anything else? I kind of just ran forward expecting a fight to happen, so I wasn't quite ready for it to be a mostly empty room. By the way, look at that. Orange and purple contrast. They're very close to being opposite colors, I believe? Yeah. Well, orange is a bit of a... They're both secondary, so it doesn't quite work that way. But yellowish? It was, if, you, if it was yellow and purple, it'd be like perfect contrast. It'd be like an old Castlevania level. You give 14. This will take us to... 26. That'll take us... Let's see, that'll use 18. Uh... Yeah. Pretty much where we want to be. the ritual of my people. Come on. Come on. Yeah. That was there was nothing efficient about that. I hit all of them in, I had to hit all of them individually with separate attacks. Utterly bungled. Checkpoint. What's it say? I lost the pop-up when it came up. I could charge extra since this is a battlefield, but it's very dangerous. I could have nine lives and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. Exactly. Charge extra, people might just kill you and take your stuff. Bad plan, as things turn out. Uh, heavy stone boots, I should probably just buy those. They're probably going to use it for, uh... They might use it for that sandstorm again to block me from going somewhere. So might as well just get that out of the way. And let's just grab some material. Fill up on potions. Next boss is gonna be in trouble. Got him. We'll go ahead and stash what we can in here. Should I use the fruits? I should probably just eat the fruits, honestly. Level me up, maybe even to 10. When I, get, when I get to the Muggles, at least. No, 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 not in this case. Oh, wait, I eat him twice, though. That takes it awfully close. A few more seeds for the collection, I guess. 
Um, let's go ahead and mix some of you guys up. Another whirlwind. Volcano. Just stocking up on some things I can throw at the next boss to make another mess of things. A shine never hurt. Although a low level shine's a little bit of a bummer. Mixing them, to, mixing them together should be more beneficial. Or it'll have zero impact of any... Oh, never mind. It's because when you highlight, the meter goes up first. Uh, we're going to need a few more shines to level them up if I want to do that. I'll make a third shine and mix the three. Give us a chance to stun some guys. Let's see, should I be mixing whirlwinds and volcanoes? Yeah. Otherwise we'll run out of space, and I can just unleash this on a boss. There we go. Blaze is not going to gain power nearly enough to make it worth it. Nope. The other ones are not going to level up. I wonder if it's based on how many plants go into the ingredients, because Shine would not level up immediately, Blaze and Cyclone would not level up immediately, but Volcano and Whirlwind were pretty easy to level up, probably because of how many materials go into what they're made of. Let's test that with Killer Cloud. Killer Cloud also uses three plants in its creation, so will that make it instantly level up? Yeah, you get a lot of experience that way. So it seems to be, it seems to be that they scale faster if they have more plants going into their creation. We'll put the boots away until I know I need them. Look at this big ol' map. Whoa. It feels surprisingly large for, like, a chapter two. I wonder if each campaign is going to start having longer and longer levels. I did not mean to do that. Well, that's okay. It's just my it's just my pow. Hey, look. It's a mid-boss. A mid-boss. Guess what I just did just for you. Yay. So nice of you to join me in my cloud. My death cloud. My horrible, horrible death cloud. Oh no! Come back to my death cloud. Go back in my death cloud. I didn't mean to knock you out of it. That was an accident. Go back in the cloud. No, he's airborne. I wasn't counting on him becoming airborne. I was I was too effective for my own good, and he fell out of the death cloud. What will I do? He's trying to do something, but it's not working out. Wow, really made a mess of him. Nope, no, no. Oh, oh, it's a blaze. I thought he was healing. Nope, he's just blazing against nothing over there. Like, and the poison's persisting at the moment. Yep, he's pretty doomed. Well, that was brief. Absorb. I'd say so far Oswald's a reasonably fun character to play as. His attacks are satisfying. Let's see. We should head down first, because it's clearly a dead end. Here we go. Bad guys? There you are. There you are! I was waiting just for you. Yay! I attacked you with the ground. Wasn't that fun? Weren't you happy when that happened? Here we go. So much silver and gold everywhere. Thank you. Isn't this the key I have? Oh, I have a few of these. Is Oswald the campaign of repeating key types, where you can get like three keys of each type and you use them on doors over and over again? Because I feel like that hasn't really been a thing so far. I feel like so far keys have all been unique during missions and you find the specific thing that that exact key goes to. Oh, there's another one. There's a royal key. Yeah, I wonder, is there a bunch of keys and holes everywhere? Yeah, there's another key over there. Interesting. Oops. I wonder if that'll be a reoccurring thing with this campaign. And Maybe there's three keys of the same type in each level, and one of them opens up to the door to hit the, uh... the special... the, uh... one of them opens up the door to the boss fight, basically, and then that's the one unique key. 
seems to be on its way to happening a second time. Thank you. Just had to drain your essence real quick. Speaking of which, we're level 10 now. 20% bonus experience from food. Grabbed in the second level. Probably a good time for that. Let's level up my primary skills since I keep bypassing that. Uh, file rush. Apparently it makes the combo longer because it says it hit the hit count up. And it's going to gain knockback next. Which is valuable because if it has knockback it probably means they'll knock, get knocked with their feet. And if they're getting knocked out with their feet, you'll probably be able to continue the combo un unstopped, uninterrupted without them fighting back midway through. So if once they're off the ground, they're usually kind of screwed. Huh. I thought I noticed uh, Mandragora. Hey, everyone! Let's test out my new version of my skill. How'd that work out for you? Was it everything you'd hoped it'd be? Can I use another key here? Oops. Gotta pay attention to what key I'm using. Alright, two dragon keys down, one to go. Howdy! It's so nice of you all to line up like this. <laughs> the bouncing attack is great. Everyone loves the slinky. The good old murder slinky. Oh my god, it just keeps going. I think it actually slows the game down a little bit while it's hitting everything over there. Though that might be the part where the game tries to add impact by making the game pause for a frame whenever you hit something. It's a common tactic for a game to try to make a game, make attacks feel like they have proper impact by pausing the game for like one or two frames during the exact moment that the, the attack happens. Just, just to make it feel like that it was a properly heavy attack that took a toll. Some games do it, some don't. It varies. It helps because a lot of games are constantly in motion, and it helps uh, really like cement the fact that the impact happened in the first place, basically. So that next room over there is probably where the ro oh they he was they sold boots over here, so it was pointless to buy those. Oh well, money's not a uh, live or die situation usually in this game. Hey guys, thanks for thanks for visiting. I was starting to feel lonely. Bye. Oh, I'm lonely again. Yay! My favorite part is when everyone came to greet me, and then they ended. <laughs> I ended them all. Wow, I'm moving so fast, it's hard to get them. Actually, actively a problem how fast I was moving there. There we go. So, so I've made a mistake. But yeah, a lot of games are so motion-heavy that you can't really tell what's going on properly, and you want to really tell... You really want your audience to be able to tell when a, a big heavy hit happens, so uh, they will pause the screen for one frame. Just short enough that you can't even, like, most people wouldn't even look at it and be like, Oh yeah, the game paused. But it did. It did. Oh, this is the royal suit. No? Oh, we gotta move forward to get to the next, the last dragon key and, and use it here. And I need the boots, and I don't have the boots on me. 